G'day, I'm Toby. I just thought I'd make this video about stabilising, specifically stabilising Australian timbers. Now, Australian hardwoods, unlike almost any other timber in the world, take a very long time to stabilise, just purely because of their density. Now, I've seen several videos online, or well, hundreds of videos online about stabilising. When I started getting into this, maybe a year, year and a half ago, um, probably close to a year, I looked up a lot of stuff and there really wasn't a great deal of information about Australian hardwoods. Couldn't find a lot about it at all. Now, you see a lot of stuff uh, in America, a lot of people making YouTube videos, and the problem with it is they talk about the amount of time it takes to stabilise, and often they're talking about an hour or two hours, and sometimes they go, whoa, it takes so long, like 10 hours. Now, when you're stabilising Australian hardwoods, in my experience and in what I've learned from other people who are professionals in, in industry, it can take three months to turn around or more. It can take three months to turn around a batch of Australian hardwoods like uh, Red Gum Burl or Mallee Burl, something like that. Now, you can put them in a stabilizing chamber and you can make them uptake a bit of resin in a matter of days. The problem with it is, and unfortunately what some people are selling as stabilized timber are not. Um, in fact, I only had a friend around here yesterday and we're comparing some of my hardwoods with other timbers that he's purchased. Um, and we had the same size blocks of timber and mine were probably double the weight um, of the same timber, of the same species of timber. Now, it can't be exactly the same because of the fact that they're not the same tree, but it's a pretty good comparative. So I thought I'd make this video. Um, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's a long debated uh, conversation and this is only my way of doing it. Now, I've learned this um, from some professionals in the industry and the fact that I've been doing it for a, sort of over a year now, which I have three chambers running almost permanently, which means I get through a reasonable amount of timber, though that said, if it's taken sort of three months to knock up a, a, a batch, you can imagine I haven't actually done that much timber. I've probably done maybe 50, 60, 70 blocks, something like that. So, and that's several batches. So I, I, I've got a bit of experience and I just thought I'd let a few other people know because I'm often getting asked about how to stabilize Australian timbers and about purchasing Australian timbers that are sta apparently stabilized. Um, now I am no Mark Sinclair or uh, Steve Filosetti um, or Brett Selly, none of those people that are real leaders in this sort of, this industry in this country that really know what they're doing. I'm just a guy who sort of worked it out, but I have spoken to several of those people um, in quite depth to work this system out. So I'm pretty happy with my system. You'll see it obviously in the video with, with two of my chambers there running and I've sort of fixed on one of them just so we can sort of see what's happening there. But this is gonna be part one of uh, a video because of the fact it takes so long to stabilize. So um, sit back and enjoy. If you have any questions on it, I do know a bit about it and I'm happy to answer them. Please shoot them to me. Um, thanks very much for watching.